All right, so the NVIDIA 9400 GT was released on the uh, on the 27th of August 2008. So it's quite an older card at this point, almost 10 years old. It was a uh, a budget sort of thing. It's 9400, so you can sort of relate that to sort of a 1050 now, you know, sort of budget oriented, but you know, modern GPU architecture. Of course, for its time. Hosts 16, a whopping 16 CUDA cores, 512 megabytes of DDR2 VRAM, and a core clock of 550 megahertz. Now, I acquired this card from a uh, an old PC I took off a family member's hands. So yeah, I thought it'd be fun to crank up the settings on a few games with those 16 CUDA cores. Um, and sort of see how it plays some games of its time and some games a bit more recent and ultimately see if it's worth picking one up. I matched it up with a 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and an i7 7700K just so there's absolutely no bottleneck in the system apart from the graphics card we're seeing what the graphics card can do on its own and yeah so Enjoy, and let's get straight into the benchmarks. So as you could see in the benchmarks, it's not going to match up with any graphics card released in the past two or three years. 
Uh, it never was, really, was it, with the 16 Cuda cards. But uh, it's always nice to look back at these older cards and see how they've uh, stood the test of time. Uh, in this case, I wouldn't advise anyone getting this card. Uh, you're just not going to see any benefit from it. I was impressed by one or two of the benchmarks. Half-Life 2, of course, always runs really well on older hardware. This is no exception. It ran almost perfectly. It was a joy to play. Carried on playing it for about two hours in total, uh, just because I was having such joy on this card. But it doesn't really justify buying it. It will be pennies, but still, integrated graphics these days will be miles better than this. Uh, a much more fluid experience. I was surprised with Rocket League playing. I even got a goal or two, but yeah. That's the 9400 GT for you. Uh, hope you enjoyed this bit of a different type of video from me. Once again, if you've got any discussion or comments you'd like to make, feel free to write them below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. Cheerio!